around 500 BC, Marshkanat postulates that if we keep on dividing a particle smaller and smaller, then we get a stage where no more further division can be possible. Mention this stage is a Parmano. Then another, another Indian philosopher, Pakudaka Jayama, elaborated the doctrine and said that, so that these particles normally exist in a combined form, which give us various form of matter. Means Pakudaka Jayama told that this Parmano. normally exist in the form of combined form and when they combine we will get a matter. In the same era, in the same time, an ancient Greek philosopher called Democritus and Lucifer suggest that if we go on dividing a matter, a stage will come. When particles of them cannot be divided further, and Democritus called these individual particles as atom. The meaning of atom is indivisible. And then, at the end of 18th century, scientists recognized the difference between element and compound, and naturally become interested in finding how and why elements combine and what happen when they combine. Anthony Leboisier produced a foundation of chemical science by establishing two important laws. These laws are called as a laws of chemical combination. So we can say that and to enable the produce laws of chemical combination. According to them, when a chemical change takes place during the time, mass should be always constant. That means Mass should not be neither created nor destroyed. This law is called as a laws of conservation of masses. So according to laws of conservation of mass, mass can neither be created nor destroyed. But it can convert one form to another form. So we can say that laws of conservation of mass states that mass can neither be created nor destroyed to a chemical reaction. And Lavoisier along with another scientist noted that many compounds were composed of two or more elements and if such compounds have same element in the same proportion, so in respect of whether the compounds come from or who prepare it. So in a compound such as water, the range of mass of hydrogen to the mass of oxygen is always 1 is to 8. Whatever the sources of water is taken. If 9 gram of water is decomposed, then we get 1 gram of hydrogen and 8 gram of oxygen. Because the atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 and atomic mass of oxygen is 16, so we have only 1, so it means 80 grams divided by 2, 16 divided by 2, that is 80 grams. So we get in a water, H2O is there, so H2 is 2, 16, that is why we get 1 is 2, 8. In case of ammonia, 
the ratio of hydrogen and nitrogen is 14 is to 3 by mass. So this is this, this law was established by J. Prowse. According to him, in a chemical substance, the elements are always present in a definite portion by mass. Then John Dalton established is Dalton Centimeter theory. All matter, whether an elements or a compound or a mixture, is composed of small particles called atom. And based on this one, he produced or he postulated atomic theory. According to his atomic theory, means according to Dalton atomic theory, all matter is made up of very tiny particles called atom. Atoms are individual particles which can neither recreate nor destroy in a chemical reaction. This second law states that laws of conservation of mass. Atom of a given elements are identical in mass and chemical properties. Suppose one atom of hydrogen and another atom of hydrogen will always have identical mass and same chemical properties. Atoms of different elements have different mass and different chemical properties. Although it is of atom, the atom of hydrogen and the atom of oxygen always have different in properties as well as mass. Atoms combine in the ratio of a small whole number to form a compound. The relative number and kind of the atoms are constant in a given compound. So this law 5 and 6 shows laws of constant composition or laws of constant proportion. We can say so the, this Dalton atomic theory is based on laws of conservation of mass and laws of constant proportion. Let us see the actual equation in a reaction 5.3 grams of sodium carbonate react with 8 grams of ethanoic acid so our amount of the reactant is 5.3 plus 6 means 11.3 the product were 2.2 grams of carbon dioxide and 0 0.9 grams of water and 8.2 grams of sodium ethanoid so if we added this then we got it 8 9 10 2.2 plus 8.2 then means 10.4 10.4 plus 9 then means 11.3 so the mass of Reactant is 11.3 and the mass of product is 11.3. That means it shows that laws of conservation of mass. Laws of conservation of mass. So, Now, next is hydro hydrogen and ox oxygen combine in the ratios of 1 is to 8 by mass to form water. But mass of oxygen gas would be required to react with 3 grams of hydrogen gas. So, If it is of 3 gram, so our ratio is 1 is to 8, so 3 multiplied 3 in both sides, so you will get 3 is to 24. So 
the amount of oxygen required is 24. So, next question is question number 3. What postulate of Dalton cytomic theory is the result of laws of conservation of mass? This is about uh, atom can neither repair nor destroy. This is the answer of this one. Now, next is what postulate of Dalton's atomic theory can explain the laws of infinite proportion. So, last five and six point that is, atoms combined in a fixed ratio by mass in a whole number ratio, and another one is in point number six, which we have already discussed that. That is the answer for question number four. Next, what is an atom? Atom is the building block of a matter and say <coughs> all the matters are made up of atoms only. The size of the atom is too small that we cannot 